So the Wall Street Journal is reporting today that Donald Trump uh, attacked General Soleimani to satisfy some Republican senators who are going to be judges in his impeachment. It's a totally bizarre story. Check this out. Leave your comments, ding the bell, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel, please. Here's the situation. Trump assassinates Soleimani, and I'm going to get to the reason why in just a moment. Um, and, and this morning, I just I tweeted out a little earlier, you know, Bolton is up to his eyeballs in this whole Ukraine scandal, you know, the, the Ukraine bribery scandal that Trump started when he tried to bribe the president of Ukraine to manufacture dirt on Joe Biden. And right in the middle of that was Mike Pompeo. So he has as much of an incentive as, as Trump does to change the subject. Like, hey, you know, let's, let's attack, let's, let's kill Soleimani. And in fact, according to the Wall Street Journal today, quote, Mr. Trump, after the strike, told associates he was under pressure to deal with General Soleimani from GOP senators he views as important supporters in his upcoming impeachment trial in the Senate. So Trump told people around him after Soleimani had been hit that he did it because there were a couple of Republican senators who asked him to, and they were going to be judging whether he should be removed from office. And what's so weird, I mean, he assassinates a high-ranking foreign official. This is uh, from Laura Clausen over on Daily Coast. She just summarized it so well. She says, so Donald Trump assassinated a high-ranking foreign official, risking a massive war, in part because it would help him in an impeachment trial that's happening because he tried to use U.S. military aid to extort a foreign country into helping him win re-election. Chris Murphy, Senator Chris Murphy, the Democrat from Connecticut, is also pointing out that as a result of this strike, Iraq has now turned against us and told us to get our, our troops the hell out of the country. Their entire parliament voted for this. Iran has said that they are restarting their nuclear weapons program. And all the operations against ISIS by both Iraq and Iran in Iraq have stopped. Uh, and the United States, our, our, our efforts against ISIS just stopped cold because of this. This was, uh, you know, uh, numerous Middle Eastern experts are saying that uh, this was a huge gift to the Islamic State and Al-Qaeda because Iran was deeply involved in that fight against the Islamic State. And by Trump ordering this assassination, he's, I mean, this is going to be, uh, you know, recruiting for ISIS forever. So we see this going on. I mean, this, this, is, the, this is the downside of this. And, and the majority of Americans have figured this out, by the way. Now, I don't know how Pompeo's press conference this morning is going to change that. But once again, they succeeded in shifting the, the, the dialogue in the news media away from the increasing information proving that Trump actually did involve himself in a bribery scandal. The, the unredacted emails, for example, showing that Bill Barr tried to cover it up, the bribery scandal. This is these emails within the uh, Office of Management and Budget where they were saying to the Pentagon, don't pass that money or give those weapons to Ukraine until Ukraine does what Trump wants with regard to the election. And it's all out there now. And ever since it came out last week, there has just been one thing after another to seize the news cycle so that nobody knows about it, basically. But nonetheless, 55% uh, of Americans say that this strike on Soleimani made America less safe, 55 to 24%. This is a new uh, USA Today Ipsos poll. came out yesterday, late yesterday. The percentage of people who think that Trump's actions toward Iran were reckless, 52% versus 34% who like what he did. Um, what people are predicting will come out of this, 69% of Americans say that Iran is now going to attack U.S. interests in the Middle East. 63% say that terrorists will be, wage attacks on U.S. soil as a result of this. 62% think we're going to end up in a war with Iran. And 52% to 8% say it's more likely that Iran is now going to produce a nuclear weapon. And a plurality, 47% of Americans versus 39% who say no, say that Trump ordered the strike purely for political reasons, which the Wall Street Journal is reporting today. 
The bad news is that the Wall Street Journal inserted that fact, which should have been the headline in the lead paragraph, in the 29th paragraph in the article. And I don't see it being picked up by the electronic media anywhere.